I'm Carlos Martinez. Welcome to Darwin Colombia. We are in the propagation greenhouse where the cuttings that were harvested in the nucleus block are being rooted. Let's see the process. Now the cuttings are being harvested in the nucleus block. We get those bugs into the propagation greenhouse. The process is simple. We take the cuttings out of the bag, put some hormone on the base and stick it on the tray. So we are transforming unrotted cuttings into liners. She is currently sticking salvia blue baiju. The whole process takes around six weeks to be achieved. In propagation, we can hold up to 2.5 million cuttings over a year. And we keep here 70 different genera all over the year. In total, we have at least 700 varieties. Look at these liners. They were stuck here six weeks ago. They are fully rooted down. Look at the plug. We are now taking them to the harvesting greenhouse where they will become mother stock plants. We are in the harvesting greenhouse now. These salvias came from the propagation greenhouse, salvia blue by you. This will become harvestable in almost 16 weeks. This is a mother stock greenhouse. It has a capacity of 279,000 plants and produce an average of 330,000 cuttings weekly. As quality, efficiency is really important for us. So we design an app to keep track of it. We use an app that helps our scouters track the plants. Yes, these plants came to this greenhouse pest and this is free, and we have a trip screen, but it is important to constantly monitor them. We also use beneficials and spray if necessary to control pests and diseases. I'm here with Geraldine, and I want to show you how our harvesting process goes inside this greenhouse. First, we have to remember that disinfection is so important to keep the sanitation of our cuttings. Tools are always disinfected. It is really important to keep insects and diseases from getting into the cuttings. We harvest aerial cuttings like this salvia blue by you with scissors. We usually harvest by groups of 10 and we use beds in their hands just to have a count on the how many cuttings are being packed in a bag. We place 50 cuttings in a bag plus two as a buffer for our customers. And once it is complete, the label should be placed facing outside using the pocket. Tags are really important for keeping traceability and identifying varieties in a Mac. When completed, bags are placed into the cooler to keep the cold chain. Thank you for joining me on this tour on the production side of our process.